Let's move on now to what's on today. What's on? What's on? What's on? African apocalypse. Hmm. Sounds like the movie. That's why they call it Apocalypto. I don't know why they call it Apocalypto. Yeah, Apocalypse. You've watched it before? Yes, I have. Yeah, but I mean, my friends. Like Most people call it Apocalypto. Day. Why is it called Apocalypto? I don't know. It's just like it's just like when you when you when you when you rename a movie just to get familiar with it. No, you know, I think I think it's a Ghanaian thing. Really? You know, we we rename things. It's like Commando. <laughs> we still call him Commando, even when his no. name is Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Commando is the title of that movie. His favorite, yeah. you know, war movie. No, but we have we have this thing where we we find pronunciations, we find our yeah. pronunciations yeah. for Apocalito. for different things. Apocalito. I'm trying to to find a popular example, but it's not it's not registering right now. Yeah, I'll get one. Is that's 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 yeah, it's a Ghanaian <laughs> thing, I think. It's a Ghanaian. <laughs> Just trying thing. to fish it out and let you guys have it. Okay, what's uh, what's it all about? African a- apocalypse. Yeah, so this is um, an online event. Okay. Where Nigerian poet Femi Nylanda will explore the colonial past of West Africa. Okay. Taking inspiration from Joseph Conrad's iconic novella Hearts of Darkness. So as his personal journey uncovers our hidden shared history, Femi will bring us face to face with the legacy of empire. A past with ramifications that must not, must not be ignored today. So the screening will be followed by a live online Q&A with Femi Nylander director Robbie Lemkin and producer David Upshaw. So how to watch? The program will be broadcast live on a custom-built streaming site. Once you are registered to attend, you receive an email on the day of the event with further details about how to access the streaming site. Now, this event is happening for free. And um, it's simply put, a short program that is looking at the concept of what liberty means in America okay. following Trump's presidency. Right. Okay. So it will happen tomorrow, the fourth of February, twenty twenty one, at seven p.m. GMT. Right. And registration can be done. It's for free. And registration can be done via Eventbrite.com. Beautiful. So, like I said, once you register to attend, you receive an email of the day of the event that is tomorrow. Okay. With further details about how to access the streaming site, Great. so you can watch the African Apocalypse mm. and then take part in the Q and A. African Apocalypse, not Apocalypto. <laughs> <laughs> but I like it when they mention it. It sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah. It's like cartoon. Apocalypto story. But anyway. Okay. Okay, so the next thing that is on is a well day for African and Afro descendant culture. Mm, right, interesting. So this is a live webinar that is being organized by the World by the World Day of African and Afro Descendant Culture. Mm. In collaboration with UNESCO and RAPEC here in Abe's Ghana. Right. So it's under the theme, the role of the African diaspora in conserving and promoting African culture for economic development in Africa. Right. So it will take place tomorrow, the 4th as well, from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. GMT. So like I said, it's a live webinar, so it will be on Zoom. And then it will show on Facebook Live as well. Okay. So it's either you head on to Zoom or mm-hmm. you go to Facebook Live. Right. And then you can take part in this webinar on the theme, the role of the African diaspora in conserving and promoting African culture for the economic development in Africa. All right. So the ID to the Zoom is 867-1420-1043. Okay. And the code is JMCA Ghana in, in capital letters. Or you can head on to Facebook and search for Destination Afrique Tourism. Okay. All and right. then you can join in this live webinar. And we'll also share the flyer to the event on www.africaglobalradio.com under what's on. Okay. So they can find all the details they need to the event on there. Yep. What else? And the, the last thing that is on is um, an event by Black History Works. Have you did you play Call of Duty? Have you ever played? Call yeah, of Duty? yeah, I have. I have it for one okay. tough game. I haven't. I'm not really a computer gamer. You're not a gamer. 
Mm. Yeah, the only game I remember playing on a computer was Chicken Invaders. Mm, I wouldn't have a chicken. Because there'll be chicken and after you win, there's going to be a meal of chicken, right? Wait, mm. did you ever play Chicken Invaders? Have you ever played Chicken Invaders? I don't even know Chicken Invaders. So but why come you on, wait, you cannot compare a, a Call of Duty player I'm not to Chicken Invaders. I'm just saying. Like I'm not, ha, 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 you're with Chicken. You've talked about chicken countless times here. Are you? Do you really want chicken? I mean, just tell me. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sure my soulmate is a chicken. Really? <laughs> Did you just say? <laughs> just tell us about that. <laughs> so this event is titled "Call of Duty: Black History Breakdown." Okay. So here they'll be breaking down Black History using um, Call of Duty: Modern Warfare, okay, and then Black Ops: Cold War. Right. And, and it'll be an interactive presentation where they'll cover the military industrial complex, what is it, what it is, and how it works, radicalization via, via gaming on the theme war as culture and the culture of war. And mm. then there'll be propaganda and recruitment at the movies then and now. Then they'll cover the topic brainwashing the youth, London, looking, taking into consideration London, Somalia, Nigeria, and then Haiti. Okay. And then they'll look at racism in Africa in the video gaming industry. Okay. Then examples of real politics disguised as fantasy. And then finally, black scientists and inventors. Mm. So, okay. I mean, it's like they'll be discussing all of these topics in the gaming sense. Okay, okay, okay. Wow, that's great. Because, I mean, computer games... It's a big thing. It's a big thing mm. right now, especially mm. with COVID and lockdown yeah, and people you, you staying can only in the house of and that. all of that. Yeah, to keep you entertained and all. It, it, it helps the brain too, you know, because you, you need to get to the next level. You need to actually think about ways and means to be able to navigate yourself through and get to the other level. Okay. So this interactive um and presentation will also happen tomorrow the fourth from six thirty PM to nine thirty PM GMT. All right. And mm-hmm. that is all we have for what's on for today. Interesting bits right there. Log on to Africa Global Radio.com for more updates.